All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is me, Jigsaw0097. Just wanted to give you a friendly reminder that you can find me on other platforms, the main one being Mines and Odyssey, but you can also find me on platforms such as BitChute, Rumble, Parlor, Twitter, and DeviantArt. I will always leave links to these in the description of the videos, and you can see them on the banner of my channel as well. But with that said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, what is up? Today we are going to talk about Omicron. In case you guys don't know what Omicron is, it is the new COVID variant. Ooh. And the reason I want to talk about this specifically because... Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, the reason I want to talk about this specifically is because Trevor Noah recently had a moment of clarity about the vaccines and he was basically saying that I don't even know exactly what they're doing. I guess they're trying to push, push another booster. So in case you guys don't know, there was the first vaccine, then there was the second vaccine and then there was a, there's now a booster shot. So, me, I've never been vaccinated and I never will be, but um, my mom, I think she got vaccinated twice. My dad was going to get vaccinated, but then uh, me and him got COVID actually around the same time, so we got it and got over it. Um, but now they're saying, and then there's a booster shot, and now they're saying that you will need to take the booster shot every three months or something like that for the next five years. It's insane. So, basically what Trevor Noah was saying is that and keep in mind if you guys don't know who trevor noah is i don't know how you don't at this point but he's like a hardcore leftist um he's the one that replaced john stewart if you guys remember john stewart back in the day um back when i was young at least he was like the political comedian anyway trevor noah he, he's a big social justice warrior like colin kaepernick type so for him to have this moment of clarity just kind of shows that the mask is slipping a little bit when it comes to this whole COVID-19 thing. Um, and I think people are starting to realize that it's it's largely crap as far as the, like how deadly it is. And I've been saying this all along, like uh, I don't even think there's this many variants. So we've had like the initial virus, then we've had Delta and now Omicron. So we've had like three variants in less than two years. That's just not very normal of a virus um, to mutate that quickly. But at the same time, the vaccine probably caused it to mutate this quickly as well. So um, who, who knows at that? Like honestly, and this will lead into what Trevor Noah was saying. He basically said that he would rather trust professionals, healthcare professionals over the pharmaceutical companies because pharmaceutical companies stand to gain billions of billions of dollars for vaccines um and keep in mind like this trevor noah's logic is flawed in my opinion because like i wouldn't even trust health professionals at this point like especially the dr fauci's of the world because they're literally censoring doctors that don't agree with this so like if you're if you're censoring doctors that don't agree with this and they're bringing forth like solid evidence if you guys know who brett weinstein is um, I'd recommend checking him out, his Dark Horse podcast. He talks a lot about this stuff. He invites people onto the show. Far more knowledgeable than I'll ever be when it comes to stuff like this. But he invites people onto the show and they uh, and they have like a countering opinion to the mainstream COVID narrative or whatever. So um, that's why, yeah, I wouldn't even trust healthcare professionals on this because th likely they're being bought and paid for as well the big pharma is it's got its grains and everything so um yeah it was just an interesting it was an interesting moment of clarity where i'm thinking okay like i think even even the hardcore leftists are gonna have to give up on this grift at some point and you know what's really funny is his audience attacked him like they they said that his statements were pro-trump and you know all this garbage you know the woke is becoming a religion i could make a video an entire video on that um but basically like wokeism has become like the new the new church ladies in a way like 20 years ago everybody used to complain about christianity and how they were trying to censor things and now everybody's complaining about the woke like basically the left has the power now you remember that guys 
whoever whatever you can't talk about is who has the power so um yeah it's really it's really interesting to me and uh, i don't even know if i'm going to put this video on youtube because i don't know if you can even talk about covid that was one of the reasons why i didn't really make a lot of content last year because this is the kind of content i wanted to make but i was like you know youtube might just delete it um so i don't know but if you guys want um, you can follow me on the alternate tech platforms that I put in the beginning. If you guys uh, check out the intro, um, I'm on many different platforms now. So anyway, though, just wanted to make this video. I thought it was very interesting. Um, the Omicron variant, guys, that's another thing. This Omicron variant is proving to be just pathetically weak because that's another possibility of viruses, right? Is they, they can evolve to be more transmissible, but less deadly. Um, but with all this mass vaccination... They're finding out that vaccinated people have the virus more than others, so it's just a crazy backwards clown world we live in right now. Nothing really makes sense anymore. And it's just it's just frankly ridiculous that this has happened so quickly. Like just 10 years ago, I remember people were at least able to have like civil discussion about things, and now it's like we can't even talk without being censored, so. Anyway, guys, that is the video. Just want to make that quick one here for you, and uh, I'll talk to you all later.